So let's do, let's do a little bit of bi uh, microbiology, okay? So if we look at the hierarchy and how disinfectants work, the spores now, all of you guys that are in remediation, okay, and you're dealing with fungal spores, they're different than bacterial spores. Okay, bacterial spores are the hardiest form of life on Earth, okay, bar none. They're called a prokaryote, they're a prokaryote. They're different than you and I. They're not eukaryotic, which means they have a complete di different DNA system, okay, a DNA, RNA system, and replication system. A fungal spore, there's lots of them, no question. Do they rapidly grow? The answer is yes, but they're much more easily killed. Okay, so you'll notice C. difficile, which is a bacterial spore, mycobacteria, which is tuberculosis, the non-envelope viruses, oh, norovirus, okay, our cruise ship virus. It's hard to kill because it doesn't have an envelope. It doesn't have a protein envelope around its capsid. Okay, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, non-envelope viruses. So this is why you have particular concerns with hep A and hep B, polio virus. Now, your fungi are sort of mid-range, candida, trichophyton, and so on, but we're not talking, you know, also we have rhizopus, we have aspergillus, we have candida. All those are fungi. They all sort of fit mid-range, they're not particularly hard to kill. Bacteria, MRSA, VRE, acinobacter, eh, they're somewhat hard to kill, but again, the most, the average disinfectant, if used properly, will kill them. Envelope viruses are the easiest to kill, which include HIV, HSV, the herpes viruses, and your flu viruses, okay, whether it's H1N1, H5, 7, whatever, whatever virus it is. Okay, so when the EPA looks at a disinfectant, the companies have to meet a certain criterion for each of those items, okay? So the EPA says you must meet efficacy against spores, mycobacterium, non-envelope viruses, and so on. Yes? How come you can kill it on the surface so easily, but you can't get rid of it in a person so easily, HIV and herpes? Oh, well, that's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has, it has to do with the rep how HIV is replicated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so remember that HIV is a retrovirus. Mm -hmm. And a retrovirus means that it's going, it's an, it's an RNA virus. An RNA virus is going to turn into a DNA, okay? okay? The DNA is going to be incorporated into your genome. Okay. So once it incorporates into your genome, you can't get rid of it. Okay, okay. and the genome in this case is going to be, in, uh, primarily the CD4 cells are going to be destroyed. Okay, now what was the other organism? Uh, the herpes. Now herpes is called a latent virus. It has the ability to live forever in your neurological track, okay. okay, your ganglions. And therefore, what happens is, is that the immune system doesn't see the virus once it gets incorporated into the, the ganglion okay. or the nerve, okay? okay. And, and so it doesn't have any receptors by which it can react, okay? And remember, your immune system is dependent on seeing something that makes it atypical that the body can respond to, okay? okay? That's the difference. So when you have HIV on the surface, HIV can live for 72 hours on the surface, okay? But as far as killing it with a disinfectant, it's not in the cells, so it's not hard to kill. Okay? Thank you. Anybody else? Any questions? I see you. Okay. So HIV is easy to kill. Herpes is easy to kill. H1N1 is easy to kill, okay? So those are the ones that are most susceptible. So if you're a company, you want to go for the toughest guys. You want to go for the C. diff spores because right now that's the fastest growing infection in the country, okay? It causes more mortality and morbidity than anything else. 